RES is the first device having a combination of two robotic subsystems. A common control system enables the dynamic body weight support and a powered exoskeleton to work together. This enables 100% fall safe walk. Partial unloading of patient's weight and manages patient's posture while walking. It senses intent to move and actively follows patient, needs neither a push nor pull. It recreates normal human walking gait for patients. Sensors detect and record patient's locomotion parameters for monitoring and predictive analysis using machine learning. RARES, revolutionizing human mobility. When Bionic Yantra came up with this brilliant idea of making a device which can easily fit across the disease spectrum and is affordable, there was no question of us not wanting to work with them because that's part of my team's mandate but also the mandate of the ability lab. It also gives you an automatic robotic system which moves the body weight system without having additional staffing need to push it. A lot of body weight support system needs others to push it which doesn't make it practical because now you're having additional staff plus the system which needs to be pushed so you're not, there's no economics to it. The advantage of the rest system is the battery, the computer, everything is embedded in the A-frame which is the body weight support system. So all you are attached to is the motors and otherwise so the frame is light which makes it easier for a person for disability to walk. This team has been able to design a fully functional um, exoskeleton device with a body weight support system for safety in less than two years is incredible. Um, this was completely designed within India. A base device is kind of a launch pad for, for new ideas that haven't even you know, been possible before. So this could allow to push the field of exoskeletons and bionics forward for geriatric populations. Um, you could use this for perhaps um, sporting rehabilitation, uh, personal mobility. These are all options that, you know, in the future could be addressed with this base technology. In hospitals and clinics where affordability is down to one device, it makes very logical sense to invest in something like this because now the clinician can work on multiple patients with multiple impairments and multiple disabilities at the same time without worrying about switching technologies given a short time they have to treat each patient. One of the things which the device does is provide onboard sensors to real-time collect uh, clinical outcome measures, but also metrics which therapists would do in note-taking. And all of this data is in real-time upload to a cloud server where machine learning algorithms can analyze this information, come up with prediction models, or give note-taking capabilities, which for the same therapist or a different therapist on the next day will provide them enough automated information which will help them guide the treatment session.